Welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Robert Broom. The Division of Motor Vehicles is now offering the state's first real ID. Frequent air travelers and visitors to military bases, nuclear power plants, and federal buildings may want to apply for this optional license or identification card that meets the security requirements of the Federal Real ID Act. Beginning on October 1st, 2020, a Real ID will be the only single form of ID accepted in order to board a commercial flight or enter a federal facility. Those without a Real ID will still be able to use a standard license, but they'll be required to furnish additional documentation. Real ID will have a gold star in the right hand corner and if a citizen prefer not to have that, they can have a regular ID or driver's license with the words not for federal identification. Residents must visit a driver license office to apply for their first Real ID and provide the following. One document that proves identity and birth, such as a birth certificate, valid U.S. passport or immigration documents. One document that contains their social security number, such as a social security card or W-2 form, and two documents that establish residency in North Carolina, such as a utility bill, vehicle registration card, or a bank statement. A real ID is available for the same cost as a standard driver license or ID. More information is available at ncrealid.com. This spring, North Carolina's roadways are blooming with brightly colored wildflowers. These flower beds are part of NCDOT's popular wildflower program, which began in 1985 and is funded through the sale of personalized license plates and direct contributions. Not only does this program beautify roadsides, but the flower beds also serve as habitats for the state's dwindling number of bees, hummingbirds, and other pollinator species. Every year, the state's roadside environmental employees are recognized by the Garden Club of North Carolina for their work to improve the appearance and environmental quality of the state's highways through beautiful wildflower beds. Winners were announced this week at the annual Wildflower Awards program in Raleigh. Division 11 was named the best overall division wildflower program. The William D. Johnson Award went to Division 13 for the I-240 median at Mile Marker 4 in Buncombe County. The best regional planting award in the eastern part of the state went to Division 2, represented by US-264 at Mazingo Road in Pitt County. Division 12 was awarded the best regional planting award in the western region for I-85 at US-74 in Gaston County. And the best regional planting award in the central region went to Division 9, represented by US-52 at Perch Road in Forsyth County. For more information on these stories, visit ncdot.gov. And that's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. As always, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That's at NCDOT. And from all of us at the North Carolina Department of Transportation, safe travels.